Pride World Middleweight Champion Vanderlei the Axe Murderer Silva, 29, 5, 11, 220 pounds, 21, 2, 1, and 1, no contest in Pride. Kazuyuki Iron Head Fujita, 35, 6 feet tall, 240 pounds, 6 and 2 in Pride Fighting Championships. The huge crowd at Saitama Super Arena teeming with electricity for the second round matchup in the Pride Absolute Tournament. And Trig, this one should be a war. I told you this one before we started this, this event this evening. This is going to be the all out war. This is my favorite fight of the night. This fight right here. I think both these guys are incredible competitors. And there you see the guys. trademark stare down. Vanderlei Silva, Kazuyuki Fujita not giving an inch. Both these guys have come in great cardio shape. The best thing is, like I said earlier, is that Van Lee took some time off to heal up to get ready for this fight. Guts, guts, guts. Ready, go. The crowd ready to explode. The action should as well. Vanderlei Silva replacing Pride World Heavyweight Champion Fyodor Emelianenko in the open weight tournament, taking on one of the Japanese favorites in Iron Head, Kazuyuki Fujita. Good movement thus far by Vanderlei moving side to side. Keeping out of his range. Always got to worry about Fujita's big right hand because he loves to throw that thing as hard as he possibly can. Almost knocked out the champ, like you said earlier. At Pride 26, came very close to knocking out Pride World Heavyweight Champion Fyodor Emelianenko before succumbing to a submission. Vanderlei Silva has been away from Pride for seven months and now Fujita attacks him. Wow. Silva now coming back. Oh my God. Oh my God. He is Fujita! trying to hang on to the single leg after being rocked by the middleweight champion. Incredible fortitude by Fujita to stay back in there. Got to get him to the ground. He's got to get him down to the ground right now. He's going to be in a world of hurt if he keeps up on his feet. And look at Silva in the corner trying for the guillotine and the takedown oh, whoa. by Fujita. We talked about delivering fireworks. Only a minute, 15 seconds into this match. And the fireworks on display. Fujita coming very close to getting knocked out in the opening minute trick. He took three straight knees to the head, took a quick left-right combination to the face, put him down, but recovered. Obviously, he's on top now with the extra weight laying on top of Andalay. Silva's telling us that the seven-month break, very important mentally and physically, getting to spend some time with his family. He said he wanted to fight Fujita for a long time, feels that he can knock him out. And now Fujita looking to pass the oh, fight, and there's Silva going for the triangle choke. But again, with the big arm bar, switch up the arm bar now. Head of the big trapezius muscle is going to be very difficult. As Fujita trying to power out, Silva's got that submission to him in. He's got a hook behind his leg. He's got to get his legs bent around Fujita's neck. That's the only way he'll be able to uh, solidify this end. He's got to get his head down. You can Fujita see the pressure. So he's got to get his right leg back on his face, otherwise he's gonna, Fujita's going to be able to slide out. Vanderlei Silva showcasing some of his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt here from the bottom. Wow! And Fujita survives yet again. Vanderlei's got to use his cardio to his advantage. He's got to push Fujita off and get. don't let him get his weight on you. It'll make you really, really tired having a guy this big laying all this extra weight on top of you. Fujita looking forward to a battle of wills and the crowd getting behind their native son, Kazuyuki Fujita. A tremendous throng in attendance for the second round of the Pride Absolute Tournament. Vanderlei Silva, the middleweight champion, taking on Fujita, and Fujita again escaping. So what was what appeared to be pretty close to victory for Vanderlei Silva. Back into it again. This time a good guard pass by Fujita, looking to rein in some knees, but look at the hip movement of Silva on the bottom. Silva's doing a great job of getting out of the way. Moving his hips, constant motion. I'd like to see him move a little bit more now in this position, though, than just staying here letting this weight lay on top of you. It's really hard to have a guy on you, you know, this this squared body, this fire plug type body laying on top of you because all the weight's right on your abdomen the entire time. Pride fighting championships, real fights with real athletes, and so far we've seen real drama here in Saitama in this matchup as Fujita has survived the submission attempt, survived knee strikes, 
And now trying to impose his will on Silva from the top within Silva's close guard. Cross-facing him here, Fujita. Again, he's got a wrestling background as Fu uh, uh, Fujita as he was an amateur free wrestling style in uh, high school, an amateur freestyle wrestler. He's doing, he's doing a, you know, the, the typical style of wrestling. You know, wrestlers, that when they carry it over to MMA, they always keep the pressure on, always maintain that forward, that forward motion. He's putting his arm back. He's already been caught twice in a, in a one time in a triangle, one time in an arm bar. I don't know why he would try to put one arm in and slide out. He needs to, uh, Fujita needs to pump his head up, sit up tall, get some pressure on Vandalay's hips and break that guard. It's a little bit of the maul and brawl style of, of the crown game. Keeping his head down, postures up the punch as much as he can and lays back down on top of him. Again, going for the cross face. Referee Yuji Shimada calling for action. Silva busy from the bottom, just trying to frustrate Fujita as Fujita now tries to rein in some right hands, going downstairs to the body, trying to soften up Silva in hopes that he'll relinquish that grip on his wrist as he's neutralizing him. Now some hammer fist from Fujita. Most of those didn't get through. Most of them didn't, didn't quite clear. But still, just a little bit every time from a guy this strong, this upper torso strength that Vegeta has enough to cause points. Cause a little bit of damage that'll, that'll come to a factor if this makes it into the second round. Or uh, Wanderlei is being very, very calm and very, very patient here. As Vegeta is expending a little bit of energy trying to get these strikes off. Vanilla is tying him nuts. up, keeping him, keeping him tied up. Good. Back to the we feet. Cross the, the feet. midway point of round number one, and referee Fujita or Shimada giving Fujita and Silva each a yellow card. So that'll be 10% deduction to their purses. Maybe like that proverbial fire under each of these warriors as they came out flying and now back on their feet. Make the motion, both guys back. We're almost back to the beginning of the first round now where we're in that feeling out period. It seems like they're trying to feel each other out again. Vanley's going to explode here pretty quick with a punch kick combination, as he naturally does. He kind of waits, kind of waits, finds a spot, and unleashes with three, four, five punches at once. Now they unload there. A quick exchange between Fujita and Silva. Fujita goes downstairs. The little leg kick now attacking the lead leg of Silva. You got a guy that's in front of you that you know he's going to shoot on you eventually. Fujita will. Eventually he's going to shoot on you. Oh, wow. Great right hand. Came back. Duck, kind of ducked Fujita's left and came back with that right hand. If you got a guy that's going to shoot on you and you know eventually Fujita is, you got to start throwing some uh, leg kicks to keep his legs up from underneath him. Keep him off. Don't let him set up for that takedown. Missing with that high head kick was Silva, but again, testing the water, setting a match. Oh, spinning back fist misses <laughs> from Fujita. <laughs> You can hear throughout the crowd, shouts for Silva, shouts for Fujita. The fans really looking forward to this battle of hard hitters here as they are still waiting to light the wick and create that explosion that everyone anticipated when this matchup was signed. Three minutes left in the opening round. Now Silva goes downstairs with a leg kick. Oh, there the it is. Those wild looping punches of his. And now Fujita and Silva with a quick exchange. Silva getting the better of that one as well. But you're right, Trigg, we've said it on many occasions. Silva, a very ferocious striker, but comes in with those wide looping shots. If an opponent were able to go right down the pipe with a left or a right, maybe the dividends could be paid. Yeah, and that's the thing is that everyone has said, if you're ever going to fight Bradley Silva, you have to do straight punching, straight down the center, and being great, great cardio shape to be able to maintain it and have some physical strength behind it because he is so strong too when he hits you. Not only is he, are they big wide punches, but they come very hard. And so far, no one's been able to really do it. No one's come down and done any of the things you need to do to beat Vandalay, at least at this point on a regular basis. And when so, he has been hurt, on the rare occasion that he has, his recovery, his time is amazing. I mean, it, it's incredible. I've seen him, you know, guys like, like Dan Henderson hurt him and he came back immediately and, and came after it. it you, you get, it's incredible to watch Vandalay get stung 
get his belt on a little bit, and he immediately comes back. There's no time for his recovery. Lots of snap to that low leg kick, and of course, Fujita responded in kind. You can tell that the fans here at the Saitama Super Arena kind of sitting on pins and needles, waiting to see what will transpire. We're into the final 90 seconds of the opening round, a round in which Silva started out very ferociously, almost knocking Fujita out and then almost submitting him from the bottom. But Fujita, showcasing his resiliency, remains in this fight. Nice leg kick there by the Pride World Middleweight Champion. Oh, and his leg, Fujita's leg is starting to get red from it. He's starting to get, he's starting to get bruising up a little bit from his leg kick. So land, oh, wow. Just overhand right and left and right, and now oh, oh, oh. he snags him, him again. Down. He put him down. And now the oh, hammer fist, that's the way the hammer fist. Watch the unbelievable Fujita into the final minute. It looks like he survives that for the time being. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he got back up. He's still in this. It looks oh, like Rusty was going to stop he's the fight. Again. He's down again. Kicks to the head here by Vanderlei Silva. How much more will Fujita be able to take? 45 seconds remaining in the round, and unanswered strikes here. Yuji Shimada. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Vanderlei Can you Silva it? knocks out Kazuyuki Ironhead Fujita. Simply amazing. A man who had never been knocked out in his career, Kazuyuki Ironhead Fujita, has just tasted his first KO defeat at the hands of the Pride World Middleweight Champion when time was running out, nine minutes and 21 seconds via TKO, the shoot box celebration in full swing in the center of the ring. Great job by Mandalay, stayed in there the entire time, pushed the pace, I'd like to see a little bit more emotion from Manley when he's on the ground underneath, but he came back up and once he felt that uh, Fujita was in trouble, he kept coming, he kept coming after it. And honestly, Mar, I gotta I got tell you, I, I really couldn't tell who was more popular from a crown standpoint. Both these guys walked in. Was it Fujita, the Japanese superstar, or Manley, the pride superstar who hails from Brazil? Tremendous display here of sportsmanship between Silva and Fujita. And happy birthday, Vanderlei Silva. What a birthday present it is as he records the TKO victory and moves on.